Think about the last time you spent time learning or studying something and it went really well. Um, typically, the environment that most people do best in, in learning and studying, is a relaxed environment. Uh, it's quiet, it's focused, uh, you can take breaks when you want, there's not a sense of pushing necessarily for a goal, but a sense of kind of exploring the topic and kind of um, seeing what's, what's in there to discover. I want you to think about certain forms of exercise as a kind of learning. You're feeding your body new information and you're waiting for your nervous system to kind of incorporate that new information into uh, everyday movement. So when you're doing dynamic mobility exercises, for instance, as part of your warm-up, the best way to do those kind of warm-ups is in a quiet environment, in an environment where you can be focused, relax, you're not too worried about pushing for any result and yanking on your hamstring to make it longer, or pushing on your calf muscle to, to work out that tension, but to kind of easily just kind of push and just kind of introduce that boundary, find where that edge is and steer clear of that spot where you go into real pain, where you, when the body goes into a, an alarm state. Uh, when you go into that alarm state, when you really push the body and you start to start to really jam on those joint muscles, you get into a stressed state. The nervous system tilts into a kind of sympathetic state, which is the kind of fight or flight uh, feeling that you get when the body is feeling threatened. And obviously, if you're feeling threatened, if you're feeling nervous, if you're feeling anxious, you have a really hard time learning. So the body and the joints are no different than when you're trying to feed information straight into your brain. You need to stay in a relaxed parasympathetic state. So next time you're doing dynamic mobility exercise, for instance, take it easy, back off a little bit, stay focused on what you're doing. Just kind of question those boundaries. Where does that joint really want to stop? And where does it feel comfortable? And maybe on the fifth or sixth repetition, you can just kind of play with that edge, as opposed to from repetition one really pushing into uh, your max stretch. Uh, another thing to look for here is that is the breath moving in and out really easily? Is it, uh, are you relaxed? Does your face actually show that you're relaxed? Are you getting tension through your face? Is your breath holding? If it is, that's a good sign you need to kind of back off and uh, take it a little easier. So good luck with that. Let me know how it goes in your dynamic mobility exercises and see if you get better results working in that parasympathetic range. Good luck.